Hello my Sock Inverse. Uh, earlier, just when I got the package, I <laughs> made this opening video and I watched it and it's near unwatchable, to be honest. Uh, and yeah, you won't see me unpacking this package, it's already open. So let's look, I got two more jerseys, uh, German related, which is very, very weird for me. Um, but yeah, I added to my Bundesliga collection a Bayern Munich jersey, very unusual. I'm uh, Bayern Munich is one of the teams I still write uh, with Inter and whatever. Um, what saves it is I have David Alaba on the back, and yeah, I need it for my channel to be honest. Um, I have Dortmund, I have Bayern, it even has the nice patch on there, and I think it cost me 10 euros. So very happy about that one. Uh, it's a rather, I think it's a 14, 15 one. I, no, 15, 16 one. I wanted to get actually the 14, 15 the, with the blue and red stripes because they're not doing this anymore. But you know, this one is really nice too. And we'll look at that. And the other jersey I got only for three euros. And I have to say when I unpacked it, I, and I saw it, I was always afraid that this might be a fake and I'm still not 100%. Um, sure if it's authenticity but it's the German away jersey from the last World Cup it I compared it against the uh, Belgium shirt that I have from the same World Cup and it measures up it has the tags uh, inside here but unfortunately the tag is washed out and I'm afraid the whoever had it uh, did not take care of this one. It also has the tag inside here. This one is not washed out, but it's a little bit, yeah, I have to see. Uh, I'm not 100% that this is the real deal. The one thing I have to say is that um, the crest here, it does not look as solid, which is usually a giveaway, and also that um, the World Cup shield is a cloth, also makes me Honestly suspicious, but yeah. Um, if it's a copy, it's a darn darn good one. And I, I actually, you know, I don't like Germany, but this was a jersey I really wanted to have. Um, yeah. The other thing, the last thing that makes me suspicious is that the inside of this collar is the same material as the front, and that doesn't, that doesn't seem quite right. But uh, yeah. For three euros, I think it was worth uh, the try. I have to say the craftsmanship on it, if this was a fake, is really, really, really good. And I don't see any uh, reason to, if this was really, re really, really fake to get a real one. But I have to say, um, it's very close. It's very, very close that this might be the real deal. I've just got to wash them now. Anyway. This sort of to celebrate my 100 subscribers and 900 videos, but to be honest, since I do not like either of these teams, it doesn't feel like a big celebration. <laughs> I need to get something better about it. I have something in mind, but let's see. Classic Football Shows has a 20% sale and that might cut into my plans, but let's see about that. Let me know what you think about these two shirts, whether you like them, dislike them. What do you think about them? Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates, all things that rotate in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a very good day. Bye.